Got a new story for you at 6. Controversy brewing tonight in Westcliff. That's in Custer County after officials removed mask mandates from the county's courthouse and instead decided to treat masks as more of a strong recommendation. News 5's Natalie Chuck reports. A county divided. One group feels absolutely we had to, you know, put people in jail. The other side says no. Not only no, but no. News 5 obtained a copy of a press release from the county that no longer seems available online, saying, quote, the wearing of face coverings in public is recommended rather than required. Our attorney looked at things in the executive orders. There are places that say required, there are places that say recommended. And he said, you know, we, we can't. We can't really defend this in a court of law effectively. The county's public health agency took to Facebook later, clarifying that rescinding the mask requirement only applies to the county building. Highly recommended. We <laughs> want you to do it, but if you don't, nobody's going to try to, you know, haul you into court or fine you a thousand dollars or or anything like this. And while there are still signs on the doors, customers walked in and out of businesses on Main Street all afternoon, mask free. On three different occasions, business owners refused to go on camera for fear that voicing their opinions might mean losing customers. But pedestrians were a little more willing. It's supposed to be the free country here. Let people make their own decisions. Let us be adults. Let us handle business how we want. And. You know, if one business wants to do it one way, excellent. And if you don't want to follow their rules, don't be their patron. And it's clear that the community... I'll probably be shot at sunrise by one group or another. You know, nobody is, is happy. ...is far from meeting in the middle. Always watching out for you, Westcliff. Natalie Chuck, News 5.